so we're calling it uh, twice the, the function okay so now what we want to do is we want to place this result which now equals the return data of validate email into our email feedback span so email feedback text result and we can do the same thing just down here email feedback dot text result so as I mentioned earlier slightly inefficient because we are calling the ver uh, the function twice and then using this twice to put the same thing in you could take this and apply it to another function uh, that would be slightly more efficient because then you'd only have to again call this function uh, again uh, we might do that towards the end of the tutorial um, but for now we've taken this result variable um, which has the contents of uh, validate email which has the contents of data which come from the contents of email.php so it's a slight slide of uh, data here and then we're applying it to email feedback so let's go ahead and check this out we click in we get this message we've seen that as I start to type we should be getting hmm okay so it appears that uh, something might be wrong here Um, okay, so let's yeah, let's have a look here. Okay, so I've returned this data um, Just inside of here uh, So let me just put that down there because we were returning it inside of this function here uh, Which in turn wasn't giving us this result value we needed from the function Let's go ahead and test that again then so I click in here and I start typing and we should be Okay, so let's go ahead and do this another way uh, let's pull this function down here and let's in here create a variable called um, data returned and that equal to data and then we'll return data returned and we'll just double check everything here so yeah okay let's see if this works no Okay, so what we're gonna, I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick to, I mean, this is version of JavaScript now. Uh, you should be able to see how lazy um, jQuery makes me. Um, what I'll go ahead and do is I will just take the uh, result here um, that we did before. Or take this email feedback selector. Uh, let's get rid of that. And let's get rid of the var in front of this validate email function. Okay, so I'll just go and explain what we are doing. Now what we're actually doing is uh, removing the returned value of this function. And I'm just calling the function itself. Now once the data has been returned, I'm going to go ahead and use a selector to select the email feedback um, span and then apply a text inside here which is the return data so the validate email function um, returns the data to this email feedback span so let's go ahead and try that you can see I've just started typing and I've typed Alex and we have the text that doesn't appear to be a valid email address then I go ahead and continue typing and we ret retrieve this valid email address message then when we come away from it you see that it disappears However, when we come back, it revalidates it. So if, it, for example, it was just Alex at, what, as soon as we click on here, it revalidates the uh, the text inside of there. Okay, so we've looked at uh, a basic concept of email uh, validation. Obviously, if you were using this for every form field, it would be inefficient. So some kind of function that you would create um, to validate forms based on their type uh, would be better in this case however in this we've just demonstrated posting data uh, to our email.php file uh, from Ajax using our post HTTP request and essentially then returning the data and putting it into an HTML element here so that's just some basic email validation in jQuery